Hello, welcome to me and me again. Yes! Woo! In this video, we're going to talk about gas pressure conversion. Okay. Under the learning competency, define pressure and give the common units of pressure. In the previous videos, we've talked about the units of pressure, right? So we have millimeter mercury and tor. We also have atmosphere and kilopascal. We also said that these three are related, right? So 760 millimeter mercury is equal to one atmosphere, and one atmosphere is equal to 101.3 kilopascal. Therefore, we can make this equation, one atmosphere is equal to 101.3 kilopascal. We also have one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter mercury. It means that 760 millimeter mercury is equal to 101.3 kilopascal. Nobody saw this coming. Okay, now let's try to solve or convert some pressure of units. Let's go. So, the pressure is recorded at 738 millimeter mercury. Convert this measurement to atmospheres. So again, we have this relationship, right? So using the dimensional analysis, we put the given to the upper left and copy the conversion factor. Since we're looking for atmosphere, it should be in the top and millimeter mercury should be in the bottom, right? And then we copy the coefficients. 1 over 760. So the units will cancel, which give us 0 0.971 atmospheres. Three significant figures. So we have the correct answer. Now, the air pressure in a tire is 2.38 atmospheres. What is this pressure in kilopascals? Okay, again, we have this equation. Then to draw the t-table, write the given to the upper left. And since we want to cancel atmosphere, it should be in the bottom. And we're getting KPA, so it should be in the numerator. Okay, so using this part of the equation, just copy the coefficients, 101.3 over 1. So simply just multiply them, 2.38 times 101.3. This will give us 241.094 kilopascal. Since there are three significant figures in the given, the final answer should be 241 kPa. This slide shows you another equation. So as you can see, we have new ones. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. And what's new is the PSI. 1.0 ATM is equal to 14.7 PSI, or pound per square inch. So some problems, they have this. So it's better to know, right? So let's have an example. A container of gas measures the pressure to be 104.9 kilopascal. Convert this pressure into PSI. Again, we start with the T table. So 104.9 to the upper left. Then using this equation, just copy it. Cancel KPA. So we're now in ATM. Right? So, and we're looking for PSI. So we'll use this. So copy it, then do the math. Sell the units and divide and multiply. So the final answer should be 15.22 PSI. And we have four significant figures. So the final answer is the same. Okay.